It's Wednesday, November 5th, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. It is great to hear from so many of you in the comments. I'll be going through those throughout the day. Now we have a couple bigger pockets of rain that are gonna build as we work our way into the weekend and into next week. Not seeing signs of development. I wanna track these areas and the flood potential uh, as well. Now, right now we have a tropical wave that's sliding by parts of Cuba, back through Mexico, Belize. No organization with it, but we've had some rain overnight in spots in Belize for example, back through Honduras and parts of Nicaragua. Couple of showers that have been around from overnight and this morning. Parts of St. Vincent and the Grenadines near Grenada. Then we swing out here. Here we are in the Caribbean. Here's some of the moisture that will build further and head our way into the Eastern Caribbean by the time we get into the weekend. I'm not seeing any signs of development this time of year. We kind of cut off those tropical waves. We don't see as much action, of course, out in the Atlantic this time of year, but we still get some of that moisture that works in and that could give us the flood potential. And that is what we'll be tracking together as we go over the next few days into the weekend and into next week. To the north, we have a big system rolling through the Atlantic region of Canada, the tail end of it, still helping to feed some showers back through parts of the Bahamas, Cuba, and even over toward Florida. It's amazing how the weather is uh, tied together on such a big scale. Then we have a little system here pulling through parts of Canada and the uh, Great Lakes down through the uh, U.S. So we'll track that as well as we uh, work our way forward in this video, trying to cover everyone with several different areas uh, that we're just kind of watching uh, some of the weather on the move. Speaking of which areas of rain on the move, this is what we're watching. Eastern Caribbean for this weekend, increased chance of rain, some isolated flooding will be uh, potential. Then next week, we're going to see that rain kind of building, especially Western Caribbean back through Central America. Uh, all of the significant models are showing a buildup of rain not showing development. This time of year, conditions above our heads aren't really conducive for development. Now, with that said, the water temperatures are still warm enough. You take a look at those, they have cooled, of course, in the wake of Melissa, where you're seeing some of that blue shading and cooling, of course, because of the uh, season changes that we're having and that colder weather sweeping in over toward parts of the uh, Gulf. Look by the uh, Florida Keys, substantial cooling in some of the water. With that said, water temperatures as a whole, at least in the Caribbean, still warm enough or something to try to spin up but above our heads conditions are not super conducive for development that is a good thing to pass along so yes still watching things hurricane season goes through the end of november the concern though we'll be watching the next two days will be the additional rain that builds through next week let me show you that here for today that tropical wave which could be really the last one of the season scattered areas of rain uh, even pulling back toward jamaica we had some scattered areas of rain yesterday we'll do that again today in some spots cayman island Cuba uh, hit or miss over toward Haiti. But as we work our way into tomorrow, keeping an eye on some of that rain that I mentioned in the Atlantic, that's going to start to nudge our way. So this is our Thursday working into Friday, spotty areas of rain around, but there's the moisture building that's what's going to move in. Kind of the first area we're watching, right? As we work our way into Friday, starting to see some showers getting closer on some Barbados, uh, back through uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And then by Saturday, you see the extra rain building in anywhere from really uh, Antigua and Barbuda South, but a little bit more so Dominica South, uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, for example, getting some of that uh, rain that will be around even into Sunday. As we work our way into next week, jumping ahead, that moisture kind of builds back toward the Western Caribbean. So just monitoring this area for some extra rain, which could include parts of the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, back through Belize, Honduras, south for some additional rain, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Again, not seeing development, but some extra rain, all getting tied into uh, with a front as well. We get these fronts up to the north that kind of enhance the chance of rain. So even parts of the Bahamas, by the time we work our way into early next week, that rain chance will be bumping up. So we'll monitor that flood threat. Now here's that system pulling back uh, through Ontario, Quebec, working its way toward New Brunswick and New England. New one rolling in here. And here's that area that departed or is trying to leave the Atlantic region of Canada. Look at the tail end of that. That's what I was talking about. These fronts up here do help keep some moisture around at times uh, to the south. So as we work our way into tomorrow, there's that system moving back from uh, Nova Scotia uh, back toward uh, Newfoundland. And there's some of that extra moisture trying to clip by parts of 
of Florida over toward the Gulf and then we have a couple systems here that continue to work across so this is Thursday going into Friday here's that next system on Friday see right here there's some of the rain back toward the Ohio River Valley swinging down to the south top end of that seeing some of that snow as we work our way into Friday then by the time we get into the weekend that lifts out over toward the Maritimes, lifting up toward a Newfoundland, and you can see a batch of rain trying to get pulled into that back toward Bermuda as we work our way into Saturday. And then we'll keep an eye on a few more systems that will be sweeping by. Now, with that said, uh, the seas, they're elevated over toward the Atlantic open waters with that area coming off of the uh, Avalon Peninsula. But watch what happens here. Here we are in the Eastern Caribbean. You can see as we work our way into Friday, this is Friday into the weekend, the Atlantic passageways are going to get rougher with that moisture, that rain that I was showing you moving in. And then eventually as we work our way into deeper into the weekend and next week, a bit more of a chop as we work our way into the eastern and then western sections of the Caribbean. So as far as the rain goes, kind of hit or miss, not as much northern Bahamas, a little bit more southern Bahamas. Spotty showers as we work our way back through Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. We may get a few spots if you get a brief downpour. 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain possible. Same thing, Haiti, the Dominican Republic. Uh, very isolated as we get back through Puerto Rico, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Guilla, St. Martin and St. Barts, and you see how it's not, not a lot. That would be passing variety. Then we'd swing to the south, Still kind of hit or miss, but that's some of the rain that will eventually move our way by the weekend. This is a three-day total, so today, tomorrow, into Friday, but that's some of the rain that's going to be working in as we get into the weekend. I mentioned that isolated flood threat. You can see it right there. This moisture starts to work its way into our direction. Also, northern sections of Suriname, watching Guyana, parts of Venezuela for some additional rain. That old tropical wave sliding by, so still some scattered areas of rain. Cancun, Cozumel, Merida, and uh, Campeche. We may even get some, not quite as much uh, in through here, but still some scattered areas of rain. Panama, Costa Rica, Guatemala, a little uptick in the rain. Watching El Salvador and Honduras. Mexico City to the north, generally dry back through uh, New Mexico, Arizona, Southern California. More of the action, Northern Car uh, California, Texas, we're on the dry side. But here are those systems that are kind of zipping by with some additional rain in some spots. You see West Virginia back toward Kentucky. A couple inches of rain will be a possibility with that next system moving by. So Jamaica, the next few days, we're looking at a 40% chance of rain. It may get a little higher as we work our way into next week. So we'll keep an eye out for that, of course, for some additional rain. Same thing in the Cayman Islands. The next three days, rain chance holding at about 40%. Trinidad and Tobago, it's going to eventually bump up, uh, but more so as we work our way into the weekend, that's when we'll see the higher chance of rain. You see that trend, Barbados by Friday, about a 40 to 50% chance of rain, and then higher into the weekend. Same thing in St. Lucia. Not a lot today by Friday, bumping up to about 40%. The next couple of days, about a 40 to 50% chance in Grenada. We've had some showers nearby from overnight. Same thing, St. Vincent to the Grenadines. The afternoon, about a 30% chance. A better chance, though, just over the next few hours of getting some of that rain with just some of that rain I've been seeing nearby from overnight. Martinique, rain chance in the next couple of days at 20%. Same thing in Dominica, a little bit higher by the time we get into Friday. And we do that as well as we go over the next three days in in Guadalupe. Jumping up to the north, Antigua, Barbuda, 30% chance today and a 20% chance of a shower tomorrow. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, rain chance running at 20 to 30%. We do that again. And Guil and St. Bart's passing shower possible today, but that rain chance staying low, just 20% for tomorrow. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. We get back toward a Montserrat. Rain chance stays on the low side. Oh, I said that before. Puerto Rico, isolated chance of a shower. 30% chance as we go forward. Swinging back toward the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 30% chance today, tomorrow. A little bit higher by the time we get into a Friday. 40% chance as we get through the Bahamas, mainly central southern Bahamas, and isolated over the next three days back through the uh, Turks and Caicos. 40% chance for the next two days across the Dominican Republic. Get back toward Haiti. Rain chance not super high. 30% chance today and looking at about a 40% chance tomorrow. By the time we get into next week, though, maybe bumping up. Belize, we've had some of that rain around right from overnight that have been watching. Thank you for leaving your uh, comments, kind of location, what you got going on. Aruba, Carousel, Bonaire, we're going to see that rain chance eventually getting a bit higher. You see by Friday, up to a 50% chance. And then we'll see how that moisture in the Eastern Caribbean kind of works across through the Caribbean as we work our way into the weekend and next week. Guyana, I mentioned that rain chance uh, bouncing back. And North 
northern sections of Suriname the next couple of days especially, that higher chance of rain. Meanwhile, Cuba, we're looking at about a 30% chance, a 60% chance in Costa Rica and Panama today and tomorrow. That's down a little bit from a few days ago. Nicaragua, 60% chance today, down to a 50% chance tomorrow, trending down as that tropical wave uh, starts to exit as we work our way back through Honduras, but a little bit higher. We'll get some pockets of rain, Guatemala, even El Salvador, as we work our way over the next three days. Mexico City, we're on the dry side, and with that tropical wave moving by, as I mentioned, the Yucatan Peninsula, still some scattered areas of rain, a 50% chance the next two days in uh, Colombia, northern Venezuela, a 60 to 70% chance and then working our way back uh, toward Bermuda about a 10% chance looks to be higher though by the time we get into Saturday with that next system that will be working closer to uh, Bermuda so tropical wave over Belize over toward the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and then we get those new areas of rain on the move first in the eastern Caribbean this weekend that's what we'll be tracking and then building in the western Caribbean as we work our way into next week so thank you for taking the time to subscribe be part of this weather community I hope you have a good and safe day ahead.